Cue the chicken. Cue the chicken. That's right. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, the embargoed running shoe that I've been talking about and kind of teasing and maybe a little too much on Strava. Thank you for your patience. I was not allowed to reveal the shoe until today, September 1st. That's why you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this shoe. And yes, we did take it to 50 miles right on the penny. I actually did it uh, before Pikes Peak. And you, <laughs> on Strava, I was labeling the runs and the shoes that I was running in, like the Solomon X Alpine shoes. I don't know, it's the default shoe that I have set for Strava. So you, many of you were probably kind of confused why is Seth running so much in the Solomon X Alpine on the roads? Anyway, it's because I was running in the embargoed shoe. Now it is time to reveal it. And here's the deal. Yes, I, maybe I was building it up too much, but if, if Cesarek and Meb Kaflesgi can run in Skechers, that's right, in Skechers, then it's good enough for me. Here we go. Neutral road running shoe from Skechers. The Skechers go run. Max Road 4 Plus Hyper. Oh my goodness, what a name. Skechers Co Run Max Road 4 Plus Hyper. So, this is building upon the Max Road 4 from 2019. Lots of new updates. Actually, let's move this guy. I like to put the shoe right here that we're taught. We'll, repl we'll put the torrent that's from yesterday. And there's the Max Road 4 Plus Hyper. Anyway, uh, I'm excited, everybody. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's dive into it. Full review. I didn't even do a first impression vlog because I couldn't talk about it on YouTube and we already took the shoe to 50 miles. Let's dive in now. This first piece of information, sadly, is there's actually two pieces of information that are a little bit of a guess, okay? Um, the drop. I don't actually know what the drop is. I'm assuming it's a four millimeter drop and I'm assuming it's a 29 millimeter stack height in the heel and a 25 millimeter in the forefoot, putting it into that high category, not quite, not maximalist, but that high category for stack height because that is what the Max Road 4 is as well. But the shoe is so new, there's not, there's not enough, inf there's no information on the Skechers website, no information on the Running Warehouse website as of the recording of this vlog. It might have changed at midnight tonight, I don't know. But at that point, that is a little bit of a guess for the four millimeter drop. If it is uh, not correct, I will come back and make an addendum down in the description of the vlog, okay, women size seven, okay, not size eight, size seven. Again, it's all I could find is 6.3 ounces or 179 grams. Men's size nine, we're looking at eight ounces even, eight ounces even. Oh my goodness, 277 grams, and here it is in my size, putting it on the scale 7.3 ounces, 7.3 or 208 grams. Oh, there is a score on your screen unbelievable. That is a great, great weight for any shoe that has that much midsole protection for your legs and you better believe it. I don't even remember. Let's go. Let's go. Max Road. Come on now. Here we go. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. It lost over an ounce. Same size shoe. Same size. Eight and a half down to 7.3. That's incredible. And yes, I am going to put it into a similar category as the, okay, here we go. Nova Blast. I know it's heavier, but by how much? 8.8. .8. Wow. Pretty uh, significant there. And I also want to compare it. Oh, one second. Time out. Time out. Okay. I could not find the Rincon 2, but here is the Rincon 1. I do remember the weight being almost identical. I think the 2 is actually a little heavier. Here's the Rincon 1 from Hoka. And I'm putting these shoes into a similar category, especially with respect to the ride of the shoes. Here we go. 6.8. Okay, that's a that's why the Rincon 2 is such N1 is such a special shoe. Again, 7.3, not too bad, about a half an ounce uh heavier for the uh Skechers Max Ro <laughs> Max Road 4 Plus. On to the upper, it's a new mono mesh upper with some polyester blend uh blended into that upper and it is a huge. In fact, this is where I think the shoe probably saved a ton of weight from 2019. This was a knit upper. I enjoyed the Max Road 4, uh, but the upper was a little thick, a little heavy, 100%. So obviously Skechers probably got some flack for that or some feedback, I should say. They did a great update to the upper in the Max Road 4 Plus. Oh, uh, God, just amazing. And 
The highlight of the upper is the lockdown. So the tongue is not gusseted. Kind of shocking. I'm a little surprised. But what they did for the, the padding on the tongue is spot on. Now, breathability, not incredible through the toe box, but the tongue is amazing. Like, I'm going to say this, it's, I, I think it's the, I, I'm going to say right now, this was the most comfortable lockdown thus far for any road shoe of 2020. Unbelievable. Just the, it just, it just laid on top of the foot so, so well. So great work there, Skechers. Um, unbelievable. Let's do the heel counter test. Yeah, there's some give to it, but it's not, um, it's, it takes a little bit of strength to bend that heel counter. I didn't feel like I was slipping out of the heel pocket at all. Um, overall score of the of the upper is just really really solid again that lockdown with the tongue it's just awesome and no oh my goodness I'm just as you can tell I'm excited uh, the no scrunching up through the toe box at all not too much material through the upper through the toe box awesome 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 one last point here's the pull tab a lot of you were trying to make guesses on Strava and Twitter as to what the embargoed shoe was this is the pull tab that everyone was trying to guess wait a minute what shoe has a pull tab that's you know gray and kind of shaped like that anyway now you know and we've got that hyperburst midsole material very very good durometer test nice and cushioned bouncy okay that's why again i'm putting this shoe in just to a similar category as the nova blast even though the nova blast is quite a bit heavier and the rincon 2 just a similar bounce and feel through the foot strike compared to these two guys so I'm um, really excited about the midsole overall and after 50 miles I gotta say there is no sign I'm very impressed there is no sign of compression happening uh, right here especially through the heel eh, okay maybe just a smidge through the toe box since I'm more of a four foot striker but only so so slightly so that's a good sign with respect to the resiliency of this hyperburst midsole material oh yeah one last note on the overall score of the midsole is that the score came down a little bit because i did feel a little unstable um at least early on that usually happens early on when i'm testing a shoe that has a higher stack height and then you get used to it and you figure it out as your your just your foot your foot strike gets used to the stack height and the you know the width of the landing area so Overall, though, really pleased with the midsole score. And onto the Goodyear outsole rubber. There we go. So there's, I just counted them. There's 14 pods, which is very, it's a very unique outsole pattern, okay? And I'm going to say that, again, a great score for the outsole because I think Skechers is thinking outside the box a little bit. What I feel happening underneath my feet when I'm running in this shoe is what I'm calling, and I feel it also in the Nova Blast because of this decoupled groove here, all right, from the heel running all the way up through the midfoot. Love, love, love the outsole pattern of the Asics Nova Blast. Uh, but the uh, Max Road 4 Plus has the, the trampoline effect going on. So when you press on these pods where the Goodyear rubber is sitting on the pods, and again, not a ton of wear and tear showing after 50 miles, it just gives a trampoline effect and it's fun. It's a bouncy, fun ride. I found it to be a, a bouncy, fun ride. And I think part of it is because of the design of this outsole, which is unique. You don't often see, in fact, I'm trying to think of other companies that are doing this, like not many, where there's pods on the bottom. So anyway, 14 pods, and they're just feeling real, like just pressing with my thumbs. It's fun to just even press into. Um, so anyway, loving the outsole. Good work, Skechers, on that design. On to the fit and the comfort. Fit, true to size. I went true to size. No issues with fit. With respect, I hope I filmed my thumb test. I don't remember if I did. I do apologize if I did not. Uh, but I'm uh, no issues with the length of the shoe, no issues with the width of the shoe, and not feeling too narrow through the uh, toe box at all. Okay, so I went true to size. Comfort, what else has to be said? I'll just put the score on the screen. Winner, winner chicken dinner amazing just really really a comfortable through the upper and the midsole ride positives and drawbacks positives bouncy light and versatile come back to that in a second the drawback the only drawback is the is the slight um unstable feel which i got used to eventually but just a slightly unstable i'm okay with it but if you don't like that feeling at all when you're running you might want to avoid the max road 4 plus just a little bit uh compared to some other higher stack height shoes 
you know, even like the uh, the Rincon 2 or the, or the Clifton 7. Um, anyway, yeah, just a little unstable through the foot strike. Durability prediction, I'm gonna, yeah, it's tough. I want to say five to six hundred. I really do, especially after you know looking at the compression happening uh, through the midsole after 50. But I'm gonna stick with four to five hundred, only because um, I do think that even though there's Goodyear rubber on the outsole here, these pods are a little prone to wearing out. Like I can already, I can see a little bit of wear and tear through this middle pod right under the forefoot. Uh, so that's going to keep that durability prediction. I'm going to go four to 500 and it, 400 might be closer to that uh, upper echelon for the durability of the Max Road 4 Plus. How will I use the shoe? Who is it best for? Long runs is how I mainly use the shoe during the uh, lead into the Pikes Peak Marathon. This is what I was using, even though I couldn't show it to you on Strava. So long runs, it was amazing just amazing for long runs amazing for middle distance runs but tweener alert here we go i think you uh, it could all it could absolutely be um absolutely be a tempo day shoe uh but also just a daily trainer okay just getting the miles in but i think it's light enough seven in, compared to last year's iteration it's now light enough that i would absolutely consider this for a, t a tempo day so i think you can accomplish different tasks 100 percent in the max road four plus uh no doubt about it so very I'm not. Uh, and last but not least, on to the price. This is a guess. It's a guess because right now for the Max Road 4, put it back up here, uh, this shoe, it's crazy. It's 125, it was $125. But there are some pairs, and I'll link to them down below in, from Running Warehouse for $50 right now in a different, in like a blue and gray colorway. This colorway is very expensive for some reason, but in a blue and gray colorway, it's like 50 bucks right now. So that's pretty amazing. But this guy, my guess, I don't even know. I, have, I could find no information online. My guess is this, this is gonna be 125, maybe 129, maybe even 119, but I bet it's around $125. If that is the case, there's my score on your screen. If that is not the case, again, I will edit down below in the description. We just have to wait and see when the shoe goes live. I think it, it might be today, but I'm not exactly sure on that. And there you have it, full review of the embargoed shoe, the Skechers Max Road 4 Plus. Who, th who actually let it, I'm gonna ask the question of the day, but who guessed correctly? I didn't see any guesses on Strava correctly, but let me know if you knew, okay, this has gotta be the Max Road 4 Plus. Let us know in the comments, question of the day. Skechers fans out there, let us know what's your favorite running shoe from Skechers in 2020 and why all right give a little expl explanation if you could because again i had a lot of preconceived uh, opinions of sketchers let's say two to three years ago i was like no 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 no. i'm not gonna go run in sketchers are you kidding me like they don't make great running shoes even though meb was running for sketchers i was like man who runs in sketchers but i gotta say i think sketchers is a hundred percent trending in the right direction especially with such an incredible update from this guy to this guy. All right, everyone, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I will toss it back to, you know what? We'll do the full review or the first impression. I, I'm not sure for this guy, the Max Road 4 from 2019. Sound good, sound good. Thanks for being here, as always, in the studio. Another shoe in the books. Let's keep working hard, keep working hard. All right, everyone, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.